right, so today we're going to look at the second part of this idea of stepping into relaxation and how to hit with relaxation. And we're not actually getting into the hitting part yet. Well, we're kind of hitting with the shoulder, but you'll see as we go along. So if you remember from last time, the idea was we're taking a step with left foot, right foot. And on the first step, we're kind of lifting up a little bit, inhaling. And on the second step, we're relaxing and we're just trying to let all the tension go out of the body. So we're going to start working that with another person uh, and then build up to our actual striking work. So I'm going to ask Andy just to feed in something with his right hand. Now this could be a punch or a grab or whatever, it doesn't matter. So my first thing is I'm doing that slight sort of lift and I'm just moving a little out of the way because of course our defence is not the block or the deflection but it is the actual movement. I'm bringing the hands up anyway because that's quite a good uh, habit to get into. Then from here I'm just stepping in with the other foot and I'm just applying that relaxation. So it's important to understand that when I do this I can shoulder barge him, right? So I can do this kind of thing and I can, I can hit him with the shoulder. But you see how this is still using tension and structure. You're using dropping the weight of course which is still a good principle but this is more of a sort of a, a technique or a position and it sort of leaves me a little bit stuck in place so if I'm working against one person maybe not so bad if there's other people then not so good so instead of I'll apply it a little more this time I'm just looking at stepping in and I should be able to with no hit on my part see here's a hit Right, you get a little bit of air comes out and you move back a little bit. Here's just a step. We get a slightly different effect. And I've still got my posture. I'm not in this kind of position. So, one, two. And at first you're going to find you don't want to put too much relaxation into it, just get the position. So then you can work a little bit more can start applying a little bit more relaxation and it sounds like an odd thing but you see what I'm doing to the person if it's quite tense all this stuff just tenses him more now he's relaxed <laughs> <laughs> so it's relaxing myself in order to relax the other person and of course you can start to see straight away how you can use this with the elbow for example see here now I drop. So it starts to get a little sharper, but it's still relaxation and not elbow strike. <laughs> it gets a little bit more difficult to practice because you see what I'm doing here. I'm relaxing into this. I've also trod on this foot there, which is a bonus. <laughs> so just to break it down again, I inhale, I exhale. And I'm not hitting, I'm just stepping and I'm putting the weight into the person. And it's a good idea as well. Sometimes when we practice, we tend to get a little bit, we're still sort of a little bit stuck in our movement. The posture's okay, but I'm a little bit static. I really should be from here, I should be. Even if you're just working against one person, get into a habit of whatever movement you apply, whatever you're doing, just get into the habit of continue to move and try not to get into the, uh, you know, the sort of jet leap pose. So you can use this as an application pretty much straight out of the box anyway. And I've used this in a couple of incidents. Uh, someone tried to push me once, so you just relax into it and <laughs> he sort of went bouncing off, which was quite funny. So for sort of low level work, you know, you can just use it to move people out of the way. If you, um, if you soften it down a bit, it's quite good work for learning to move through cloud, uh, clouds, through crowds, softly. And then of course you can get into this stuff where I'm using it a little more actively to uh, start striking. So that's the main principle. Again, we're just working on that left foot, right foot, or right foot, left foot. And the important thing is we relax. Uh, Next time we'll look at putting that into the actual striking.